Hey, my name's Thomas Fanner. Welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to the Viper Pro, this is the right spot for you. We're going to be cruising over to Zion National Park for a full workout. Let's go. This is part one of a three-part series that will move you from Viper Pro beginner to intermediate. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get updates on new workouts. All right, we're going to start out with the squat with a forward block. Make sure your posture's tall. If you need to, to make it easier, you can drop it down, but make sure that your knees don't collapse in, okay? It's called a valgus knee angle. You wanna make sure your knees are always in alignment and not crashing inward and rest. All right, this next one, we're gonna be double kneeling. Starting in the bazooka position, so you'll have both handles like this, and it's gonna be up on your shoulder. Okay, my ground's a little unlevel, so I'm sure if you are dealing with a carpet or whatever, you can make it work. Focus on the chop down and keeping it under control. Control the way up. Driving that nail into the ground with the end of your viper. <sighs> nice work and rest. Okay, we're gonna be going to that other side. <sighs> nice work, y'all. It's warm here today. Maybe it's hot where you're working out, maybe it's cold, but it's about the mindset. Focus on your technique and what you're doing and let go of everything else. Staying tall, very important. Nice work. Don't let the Viper pull you around. You control the Viper at all times. Rest. Okay, we're back to our feet. We're gonna be doing half halos. I'm gonna give you more tips as we go through this workout. First one, all I want you to do is focus on the arms. Okay. Three, two, one, here we go. It's gonna go vertical and behind my head. Vertical, behind my head. I'm getting big time shoulder mobility. Notice that I'm only turning to my left. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few different angles here. My head is not goosenecking forward. I'm keeping it in tight, keeping my posture. And rest. We're gonna go back to the top, back to that squat. Need a quick drink of water, you can grab it. Be sure to stay hydrated. Very, very important. Check, we gotta do that other side. I almost went and skipped one. Okay, now I'm turning to my right. Eyes straight ahead. Big time shoulder mobility coming up and around, keeping the neck tall and rest. Okay, now we'll go to that squat. Now's your chance to get that recovery. Take that breath, take in the scenery. We're here at beautiful Zion National Park, getting our workout on, some beautiful movement with some beautiful people in a beautiful location. Here we go. We're only doing three rounds. So make the best of every rep and every set that we have together. Almost there. And rest. Nice work. Going back to our chop next. Take that breath. Getting down. Double kneeling. Bazooka position. Hammering away. Eyes tall. 
Posture strong. One day at a time. One exercise at a time, one rep at a time. That's how greatness is built. That's how skills are built. Rest. We're gonna be going to that other shoulder now. Keep in mind which one it is. It's easy to get caught up in the whole grind of becoming fit or reaching your goal, right? But when you just take it a day by day, day by day, you're gonna crush it. <sighs> Nothing's a better example of that than seeing my wife train for marathon, half marathon. At the end of it, she's gotta do 26 miles of running. Personally, I cannot imagine doing such a thing. But what she does is she just breaks it down. One day at a time, run one at a time, one step at a time, and she enjoys it. So, if you're not enjoying this workout right now, just skip, go somewhere else. You're in the wrong mindset. Like, enjoy the movement that you get. All right. We got both sides. Let's stand it up. We're going to the halo. Hit it. It is such a blessing that our body is able to move and do these dynamic things that we're doing with it. And it is awesome that you're taking advantage of that opportunity. Almost there. And rest. All right, now we're getting into the second half of our halos. What I want you to do now is if you watch my left foot, I'm pivoting as I rotate this around and pivot back as I rotate it around. That will aid you in getting that force around your head. Let's go. Make sure you keep your head tall, spine tall. Nice work. And rest. If you're right in the middle of a rep on that last one, just do it. Just do it. We're okay, we're on our final of three sets, starting off with the squat. Pour everything out into it. Make sure your technique stays clean. Let's do this. Punch that straight out. Make sure your elbows are extended. That's where you're gonna get the best action out of this workout. Right there at the bottom. That's where it's gonna burn. You're gonna develop that strength in your back. It's gonna get your squat form dialed in. And rest. All right, y'all. Let's hit that. We're gonna go with that half kneeling chop, full kneeling chop. I'm gonna add something into this. What we're gonna do, as we chop down, I'm gonna bring forward my opposite leg. So if you're doing well with it and you wanna try that, throw it in, you can, boom. If you need to stay with double kneeling and stay with that, that's cool. Making it a little bit more dynamic. This is our road to that intermediate level for Viper. Combining two things at once. Rest. Deep breath. Find that relaxation in between because we're going to be hitting it. Here we go. Shoulder up, about two seconds, and go. So I, as I chop down, the opposite leg is coming forward. And it's okay if you get a few less reps and you're doing that harder version. Oh, I love it, the sweat's getting in my eyes. This is great. Control the movement, don't let it control you. Rest, stand it up. Last one. Here we go. We're going halos. 
sweat everywhere. Y'all are working hard. Let's finish this thing off. Pivot behind the head and back. And rest. Okay, last one coming up. Remember that pivot. Yeah, that pivot's gonna help you get that extra mobility to get around. And you also, if you get the momentum right, can actually swing the end of the Viper around into position and swing it back. All right, here we go. Hit it, last set right here. Almost there. Staying tall. You got it. And rest. Woo, nice job. Ah. I'm proud of you. You got through this workout. You're one close stepper, <laughs> one step closer to where you wanna be. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like, leave a comment, subscribe. I will see you next time. We'll be putting out more Viper workouts. Enjoy y'all, thank you. In the comments, let me know what Viper exercise do you struggle with the most? And click here for more great workouts.